Hey, YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing really well. I've spent about two hours trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about. And darned if I know, I really don't know. There's so many things to talk about. I'm excited about some of the things, though. One of our YouTube friends and family came across some information on the Obamacare. I uh, found that uh, there is a publication, I guess, in the codes of the United States that says that we have freedom not to participate in federal health insurance programs. Pretty exciting, too. I tried to do some research on it to validate and verify and make sure it's still legit because according to what it says, no individual, company, business, nonprofit entity, or health insurance issuer offering group or individual health insurance coverage shall be required to participate in any federal health insurance program created under this act, or any amendments made by this act, or in any federal health insurance program expanded by this act, or any such amendments, and there shall be no penalty or fine imposed upon any such issuer for choosing not to participate in such programs. So that, um, that's pretty interesting. I'm going to do some more checking on it. I'll share the video down below in the show more because I went to try and check. I went into the United States codes. I went into congress.gov. I went into Thomas. What was it? Thomas Law or something. Thomas Library. Law Library. Thomas. What is it? Oh, yeah, Thomas, the Library of Congress. I fell into the abyss, guys. Straight into the abyss. Nose first. Boy, I. What a confusing mess. Do you know? How many bills and laws and amendments and everything that there is? How do they keep track? How do they keep track? I kind of think things have gotten too big for somebody's britches. I certainly do. Hey, about this super bugs. Oh my goodness. They have the H1N1. <sighs> Serious stuff. Canada had their first case, their first death from it. Yeah. It's in the news. Alternative news. And mainstream media news. But um, I guess it's getting pretty bad. And then this super bug bacteria, some super bacteria started out here three days ago. It was in like 21 states and today it's in 46 states. Yeah. Super bacteria killing people. Not a good thing. But you know, we can protect ourselves. I put out a list of things today on one of the videos that I watched. Um, pertaining to the steps that we can take to pr protect ourselves against these bugs and nasty stuff. And uh, it's not hard to do. I mean, it's something we have to do. We have to do. We have to protect ourselves because this nightmare bacteria 
the outbreak of it is over and above. It really is. It's something that I guess the overuse of antibiotics over the years, the um, over treatment of problems, the super bugs are not affected by antibiotics or anything else that they're giving them. They can't kill them. They can't kill the bugs. So 46 states now and this is something we cannot ignore. We have to be smart. This nightmare bacteria uh, is resistant to the most powerful antibiotics and things that they have. They, they're scratching their heads. They can't fight it. So we need to use face masks. I come across these. These are really good. Let me see if you can see it. And I'm not advertising for them, but this is a good brand. And under the circumstances, this is put out by Medline, by, by the way. Under the circumstances, it's a micro, microbial medical face mask with earlobes. Or loops, <laughs> lobes, <laughs> earlobes. Guys, it's late. It's late. I finally got my quiet time and wanted to put this video up, but uh, it is late. These are very, very good. And we're going to have to get used to the fact that just like they did in China, you know, they open up and you just take them and put them over your ears, if you can do it. Put it over your ears. And you start wearing these when you go out. And granted, they're not that comfortable, right? Wrong. They're very comfortable. Now, for you women that wear makeup, you know, just dolly your eyes up a little bit more. Nobody sees anything but them pretty eyes. Guys... <laughs> It's just wise. It's the smart thing to do. We need to get used to protecting ourselves. See, H1N1 is a flu virus. Virus is airborne. And it can't be treated with antibiotics. Bacteria can be treated with antibiotics. The problem is, for years... You know, doctors were treating everything that came in before they could get the test done to find out if it was a bacteria or if it was a virus. Viruses pretty much run their course. You can give medications that will help with the symptoms or the side effects, but it doesn't get rid of the virus. Although there are, I guess, medications out there now that fight viruses. Antibiotics used to kill the uh, bacterial infections and ailments. They don't anymore. They can't create new antibiotics fast enough. So when you go out in public, because these are killers, these aren't your average, uh, uh, got a cold. No, these are killer bugs. They're too strong. And we need to take care of ourselves. When you go out, get used to wearing a mask. It's not going to hurt to wear a mask anyway with the other stuff that's coming down on us. I've said that many times. And there are videos galore showing the fallout from the chemtrails. This protects you from inhaling that stuff. Flu virus, anybody that is within six, six feet of you, when they cough or they sneeze, you can catch that flu. 
if they sneeze or cough and you come up behind them and you touch the same place they sneezed and coughed and then you touch your face or you rub your eyes, odds are you're going to catch it too. That is how contagious flu is. This H1N1 is a super flu. It's not your standard flu. So we need to protect ourselves. We need to wear face masks. We need to make sure our hands are clean all the time. Do not use antibacterial soaps. I brought one down. I got it out from underneath the cupboard. It's very old. We haven't used it because I won't let... Mother had this in her uh, cupboard. She used it. And here on the bottom, you can see where it says antibacterial. Don't use these. They kill not just the bad bacteria, but they kill your good bacteria. Your body's designed to fight this stuff off, guys. It certainly is. There is natural resistance to illness. So just use good old hand soap. Stay away from the antibacterials and these these uh, squirt-on things that they have where, oh, you rub it in your hands and there, I'm clean, killed all the bugs. What are, what are they called? They're, I don't know what they are. I, Perel or something. It's coming in my mind, Perel. Anyway, you, all you do is squirt. You don't have to have soap and water or no water, no Nothing, you just squirt, rub it in. Ha ha, no, no more bugs. Guys, don't use it. Don't use it. <laughs> I wish I still had all my nursing magazines and, and I could read some of the articles to you, you know, warning about these antibacterials. No, 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 no. Wash your hands. You know, trim your nails. Keep them trimmed and clean. And I know, I know, gals, you guys like these long fingernails. There is so much bacteria underneath fingernails. It would blow your mind. Absolutely blow your mind. If you need to keep your nails and you're not into clipping your fingernails off, which I clip mine off all the time because I have children and I cook a lot. And uh, I just like clean hands. But we need to keep our hands clean. Blow your nose often. Get in the habit of carrying not hankies, not cloth hankies. Use Kleenexes that can blow and throw away. Blow, throw away. These cloth ones that you pack around in your pocket and stuff. Get something is disposable, throw away. But keep your nose blown. E you know, even the flu lives up in the nostrils. That's where it lives and breeds, in the nostrils. Flu can strike within six feet. I think I told you that. Um, and the carrier, I mean, even possibly further, but I, I do remember six foot. Um, no telling how far this super bacteria can travel or... Uh, how it's passed, but we do know that it's passed human to human. So try and stay away. Try, try hard to stay away from doctor's offices, hospitals. When you touch stuff, remember bacteria. Bacteria grows on things, guys. So if you're touching something, you know, um, that somebody else has handled, you go into a grocery star, store, pushing a cart, those carts, how many people touched that before you? Did they cough? Did they sneeze? Did their little kids wipe boogies on it? Oh, you know what I'm saying. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gross myself out here. But uh, personal hygiene. 
sanit being sanitary. And uh, guys, we just got to use our heads because these bugs are dangerous. They're nasty. They certainly are. They're not uh, human friendly. And the people that are warning us, there are several videos out, you know, that, that keep us abreast of the things that are going on. And uh, we need to heed the warnings. We certainly do. I guess there's some problems within some of the YouTubers again. And uh, I hate seeing it. I really do. We're all trying and doing our best to try and find the truth to many different problems that are mounding and piling up on us. And when we start feuding with one another, we get nowhere real fast. But uh, we just got to do our best, guys. We really do. And uh, our power is so much more than the majority of you know. We're very powerful beings. I've told you this many times. And one of these days, I'll just start sharing a whole bunch of stuff with you that I know to be true. What I will tell you right now is don't accept these super bugs. Don't accept the flu. You're strong and you're healthy if you know you are. In the meantime, use good judgment. Use good, wise decisions. I think these could be the new thing. They're really a pretty color. Wonder if they come in different colors. They might now. And your eyes will stand out, ladies. Much healthier than sucking in and breathing in anything that could make you ill. And then you too would make your family or children ill. So let's just be wise. Let's be smart. And let's keep working together. Let's do what we can together. Because it really is, it really is divided you fall. I love each and every one of you. You are the most awesome awesome part of my day besides the kids and my mom and you know life you're just awesome you mean a lot to this this old gal you certainly do keep smiling no fear fear weakens the immune system it weakens you no fear. We have absolutely nothing to fear. They want you afraid because if you're afraid, you're weak. No fear. None at all. I have none because I have you and you have me. No fear. Great big hugs and a whole bunch of love and I'm running up the clock here. I do that every time, don't I? Forgive me. Catch you guys later.